Hey, this is Andy, and I just wanted to share with you today some tassels that I've been working on for my glass jars that I've been painting. I thought they were so cute, and I just wanted to share. These are beads. They're iridescent clear beads. And this is the craft thread. You can also use beading thread anything you want. Basically, you start with your little tassel that you make and you can add a charm if you'd like. This one I added the charm, but I also tied it off at the top and then I strung my beads. With the beading thread, it is small enough where you can even use seed beads. So this is a start on this one. And you can also put charms. Now this one is tied off right at the bottom. There's the knot. And these are iridescent clear beads also. But you can use anything. You can even use larger beads for your charm or use them on your tassel whatever you'd like to do now I'm going to show you how you can put together a tassel I use a ruler 12 inch ruler and I start at the top and I go around and I like to go around nine times, which gives me 18 strings when I'm done. So there's five. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now, the problem I just had was I got a knot, so I'm not happy with that. But I don't want to waste your time trying to take out the knot, so I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm not going to mess with it. But when you're doing this, you don't want knots. You want to take your time, make sure you go around your nine times without a knot. Now you take this up to the top and you cut it. Now you've got hold on tight and pull that down. Now this one that has the knot I guess I could just take it out of there. So there. Now, you take this to your bottle and you wrap it around the lip. Make sure that it's even on the ends. Pull it if it's not. Make sure it's wrapped nice around here. And now you're going to do like a slip knot. Maybe it's called a slip knot. I'm not sure. So. There you go. Now, as you can see, this is going to be too long for this jar. But that's okay. We're going to just trim it. And basically, you're not going to trim it where you might like it to rest. You might want your tassel only to come to here. But you've got to leave room for your knot. Because you're going to do a knot at the end and then cut it off. You see. So each one, you'll just do your knot 
cut it. So you don't want to do that. Um, now, for threading, you're going to take this off. It's already made to size. Everything is good. Now I use the Venus needles, Bead Buddy. I love this thing. It's got the big eye on it. And it's so easy to do your beading with that. Now you're going to figure out your design, your color of your beads. You can use just anything you'd like. As long as it fits over this thread, of course, that you've chosen. This one, this thread fits better. Now, the other thing, when you're working with your beads, I find it's easier if you just pour some on a plate, paper plate, styrofoam plate, and just slide into the beads. So you're going to put your beads on. And when you're done, you're going to take your needle off. You're going to tie that knot at the end. I'm just putting one bead on right now. So you tie your knot. Pull your bead down. And snip the ends. I like to get pretty close to that knot. So, like I said, you can line up as many beads as you want. This one, I just put the one to show you. But you do your own design. You could have nine on one, three on the other. And just back, you know, back to back. Three, nine, three, nine. Or you could do five all the way across, whatever you want. And then when you're done, you just put it over the lip and it's good to go. And like I said, you can add the charm anytime during, you know, putting this together. Now you see where this bead came up? Right there, so that's about a good half inch shorter than what it was cut at. And that's why I said, don't cut it to where you would like it to rest. Give it room for that knot. Well, I hope I've given you some ideas and uh, you have a most wonderful day. And thank you very much. And check out the chopstick idea for the tools for the mandala dot art. This is another jar. When you're doing little things like a stone or a jar or something like that, those chopsticks are perfect, perfect for doing those. So check out my video on how to make your chopsticks into tools for the dots. You have a great day. Thank you.